Hello guys, in today's tutorial I will talk to you about a thing called anchors and how they influence your game. Related to this, the Unity guys actually made a video that talks a bit about that. And there's also these two documentations, this one over here that doesn't tell you much, and this one which was the one that I learned about doing all this stuff. And it has this GIF so you can actually understand very quickly what everything means and does. Anyways, let's get started. So, for, first off, for something to have anchors, that something has to have a, a rect transform. So, for instance, this circle button that you made doesn't have a rect transform, so, and they usually come automatically when you add a UI element, but this one didn't because this was an empty game object. Anyways, if you want to add a, a rect transform, all you have to do is to add component, go into layout and rect transform. And now you have a rect transform, and as soon as you have this rect transform, you'll see that these little four things appear, and that's the anchor. And the way that anchors work is that each corner has to have always the same distance to its corresponding uh, part. So if the the if the anchor is over there, if I change this, you see that the anchor is always over there, and the, the button keeps its position. Regarding this, say that you want to, the button to never leave the screen, then you could, for example, put the button here, and now the four parts of the button will always be at the same distance of this. So if I drag, as you can see, it never leaves the side of the screen, and that's basically how anchors work. And now there's also another thing that you can customize on anchors, which is changing where these four parts are for example if I put it like so something like this this is just an example this means that this point must always be at the same distance of this point this point has always to be must always be at the same distance from this and this point from this and this point from this meaning if I increase it you'll see that the points stretch so that they always respect the distance and that's how buttons work. Now, the the way that I usually put this to make it never leave the screen is putting putting like so. But as you can see, it still leaves a bit of a screen. And as you can see, as I decrease and increase the size, the button size doesn't change. But imagine that I want it to change. Well, then we have to change the canvas. So let's go into the canvas. And there's this property over here called Canvas Scaler, and it has this scale factor and whatnot. But we're not going to change this. This will be at one as it was. What I'm going to change is the UI scale mode so that it scales with screen size. And you know you can make it scale more with the width or scale more with the height. I'm going to make it scale with both. So I'm going to put that at 0.5. And right now everything is really small, so all I have to do is to decrease these two variables until it gets the size that I want, like so. And now this is the reference size. And if I, for instance, if I drag this down, as you can see, the button is getting smaller, just like we wanted. And so if we have a screen that looks like that, the button will be like that. And if we have a screen that looks like this, the button will look like this. And now let's also... Let's also make some changes to this text because as you can see it's always out of the screen. So let's go to the total bananas, which is this text over here, and its anchor is here in the middle. So I'm going to put anchor on the top by doing by doing this. And you can also change the pivot point, and that's actually the position. So if I put the pivot point in the middle, this is the position. If I change it to there, as you can see the X position changes because we changed the origin of that UI element but usually I don't change that and you can also if you tap out you can also set the position and I want to set the position to be there in, on the on the corner so I alt corner and now it's always on the corner no matter no matter the screen size and also these bananas are also not on the corner and I'm going to put them on the corner and as you can see, its pivot is here in the middle, and I'm going to put this pivot 
close to the corner so first off click to the corner so that it goes to the corner and I want to put this pivot like and I want to change its position so change its position by alt clicking and clicking here so it snaps to there and change it so that it grows itself left to right right to left like so and because we need some space to put here the pause button I'm going to drag it a bit this way like so and now as you can see it's always at the same distance from the side just like we wanted and now I'm going to put here the button the pause button and as you can see it's also it's pivot, it's anchor, it's also in the middle, I'm going to drag it to the corner just, just like that and now it's always on the corner I'm going to actually put it more to the corner, like so ok, and that's fine and that's basically it, oh, let's see the, the pause screen if it's also ok as you can see the pause screen panel is also anchored in every corner of the screen and this button it's anchored on the center so it will always have always be in the center and that's fine for now and that's what we, and that's all about pivots for now in the next tutorial I'm going to take care of the shop because it's a bit more tricky